What's up, guys? Tony Hannity's here from LazyTechGuys.com, and we know that the iPhone is probably one of the best gaming devices that you can get. In regards to mobile gaming or handheld gaming, there are some really optimal games that you can play that really top the capabilities of what the iPhone can put out. The video quality, the audio quality, and just the overall creativity from the game developers. But the fact remains, it can be a little daunting when it comes to finding out what the best way is to control the games. Sometimes games like Clash of Clans, it's great to just kind of poke around. But then you have games like Road Rally, or GP Riptide, where it might make a little bit more sense to have actual controls. We've seen a lot of different Bluetooth controllers in the past, and as they might be good for what they do, there was one company that decided to, oh, I don't know, go Sega Game Gear and make one out of the iPhone. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Game Vice. Stay tuned. <laughs> So this is the actual Game Vice itself, and this is not the only Game Vice that they have. Game Vice is actually available for the iPad Mini as well as the iPad Air, which according to the website says it's coming soon in fall 2015, which was last season. So I suspect that it should be coming soon anytime, and maybe we'll hear a little bit more coming out of CES 2016. But the concept behind Game Vice is instead of using on-screen controls or a separate Bluetooth controller, this physically vice grips itself around your iOS device, plugs in via the lightning adapter, and controls all your game requirements through all the little buttons on the sides and the back. First thing that I notice about Game Vice is that by itself, it's pretty compact. I mean, you can accordion fold it up just like this and throw it in your bag. And with its included USB cable, you can give it a little bit of a boost so you can have some gaming playtime throughout the rest of the day without having to worry about your battery. Also, this is actually designed not only just for the iPhone 6 and 6S, but also the 6 Plus and the 6S Plus. So the way that that gets differentiated is that on the back here, you have a locking mechanism. Currently, this is locked into the 6 or 6S configuration. And then all you have to do is slide out the slider here. It will elongate the band to accommodate the larger size of the 6 Plus or 6S Plus. And to make sure it's locked into place, there is a locking mechanism on the side here. Now, one thing we noticed while we were testing this right away, even before we tested any games, was when you clamp your iPhone into the game vice, it's actually covering the speaker. So how would you go about hearing what is coming out of the iPhone speaker? Well, they've kind of thought about that. And inside the right portion of the game vice, is a speaker grate, which in turn will take the audio that's coming out of the iPhone and then redirect it from this inner area of the game vice out the back. So you can still hear the sounds that are coming out of the games. It's gonna sound a little bit muffled, but it's doable. And if you prefer, you can obviously always go with the Bluetooth headphone, or you can use your physical headphone and plug it in right here on the bottom. Now, as I mentioned, you have the included USB cable that it comes with, and it's a micro USB, which to me is always funny when it has a micro USB accessory to an iPhone, but whatever, it, it is what it is. In any event, you can charge this ahead of time, but in the event that your iPhone needs charging as well as the game vice, you can actually charge both the game vice and your iPhone just with this USB cable. So similar to that of a Mophie case or something like that. All right, so let's get into the actual buttons here. You have two analog sticks on either side. You have the directional pad on the left, which is pretty standard. Your X, B, Y, and A buttons. And of course, you have your double triggers. You have two triggers on the right, R1 and R2, and two triggers on the left, L1 and L2. Does that sound familiar? And th what they really wanted to do was make it so that no matter if you've ever had an experience of of the game vice if you have had any console experience especially with the likes of the xbox one or the ps4 grabbing the game vice isn't going to be too different than what you're already used to my first impression of the game vice to be perfectly frank was that it was kind of flimsy it was a little plasticky it was very 
Ugh. It was very slippery. Like I felt like it would just kind of fall out of my hands. There's not any kind of grip on the buttons, um, and I'm used to an Xbox One controller, so going to the analog stick, it kind of slips right out of my finger when I'm trying to control my character. But after deciding on what game I really want to play and we decide to play a Halo game on an iPhone, it was really very useful. And the concerns that I had up front were very quickly extinguished once we got into some gameplay. Now how you go about choosing the game that is applicable with the game vice is quite interesting. It doesn't work with every single game that's out there. Case in point, we actually tried it with EA Madden 16 and it didn't work. However, conversely, EA's FIFA 16, it does work. So why is that the case? EA, for example, and this developer with Game Vice, they have to work it out. They have to work out some sort of agreement and they preset the map of what each button is going to do in the game. So with all the myriad of games that are out there, how do you find out which game works best for you? There are actually two ways. One, you can actually download the Game Vice app through the iOS App Store. And from there, it's gonna download an app that will essentially give you the Game Vice catalog of the games that are available and applicable with Game Vice. Within this catalog, it'll give you a description of the game, how much it is, if it even works on your phone. And then if you decide that you do wanna download it, then it redirects you back to the iOS App Store to re-download. The other nice thing about the Game Vice application is that it does tell you within the app what each button does for that particular game, which is why we chose Halo, because Halo actually uses all the buttons to take advantage of the Game Vice. But to be truthful, going through the Game Vice catalog on an iPhone, as big as the 6S Plus is, it's quite small especially when you're looking at the button mapping section. So what I recommend is what do what I did, which was go to their website on the computer. And this obviously is another additional step that you may or may not want to take, but it just makes it a little bit easier to kind of navigate. And again, it shows you the exact same catalog. It, you're able to blow up the button mapping section a lot larger, so it's easier to see. And when you do decide that, hey, I would want to download that Halo game or I want to download that FIFA game or whatever it is, then it redirects you to iTunes so you can then download it. Now, I played Halo Spartan Assault on my Windows Phone device as well as my Surface. And with touch devices, Halo Spartan Assault is... It, it's usable, it's doable, but you know, again, your fingers are actually covering the screen and then the controllers are covering the screen and thusly you can't see all the action that's going on in the game. So it is really nice to have separate controllers that are outside. And because this is directly plugged in, there's no latency whatsoever. So you hit that trigger, you hit that grenade, it's going off right away. And so if you're trying to evade any kind of attack or anything like that, with the game vice, there's no problem. And like I mentioned earlier, I had reservations, especially that the way that this feels, it feels flimsy and everything. But once the iPhone was in there, it stayed strong. Learning what each button does was very easy for me. Again, I'm not a huge gamer, but it was one of those things that it does kind of come back to you and you start to learn really, really quickly as to how to maneuver throughout the game using the controls. At least Microsoft and game vice worked very well together to get the button mapping out so it all made very good sense. But so here's the thing, this is $100 for the iPhone and for the iPad mini and for the iPad Air, they're gonna be incrementally a little bit more money. So the question is, especially with the iPad Air, do you really need something like this to play your games? Now, obviously, yes, there are people out there that want a separate controller to play their games. But I think over the past few years where we've somewhat gotten used to just controlling our character and the gameplay directly on the phone with touch, that's something that we don't necessarily need to spend upwards of $100 to take advantage of the enjoyment that we might get out of the game. Now, for you, whoever you might be that have been looking for a Sega Game Gear experience with your iPhone, here it is. This is the Game Vice. But for the rest of you that have been maybe tiptoeing around the interest of getting a separate controller, there's a lot of different Bluetooth controllers that work on iPhone that would still allow you to get full enjoyment out of the iPhone with the controller, but it would be Bluetooth connected and there's some latency issues with that here and there. But for the game vice, it's just a little bit too much for 
what our game experience is on an iPhone right now. So let us know what you think. Have you been looking for a really good controller for your iPhone? Or are you looking at something like this and saying that's kind of useless because we should be totally used to just using on-screen controls and this is just an extra $100 accessory that's just gonna collect dust in a drawer somewhere. Let me know, let us know if you have any questions, concerns, or comments about the game vice, and we will try to address those as quickly as we can. Thank you very much for watching, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Late.